Hello everyone, welcome back to Oak and Lamb. I'm so excited for this craft, I have to tell you, it's gonna be a quick one. I've been telling Becca all morning how quick this one's gonna go, and she reminded me that this is our company and we can make our live streams however long or short we want, and that is one of the perks. Yes, one of the it many, is. many perks. So we're gonna make this absolutely adorable little gnome ornament. It honestly took me five minutes. So that's that's gonna be like a plus. That yes. it's gonna take no, no time, time at all. all. So yeah. you guys can make these to fill your entire Christmas tree in probably one afternoon if you wanted to do that. Um, we're gonna be using very few supplies today. First of all, welcome as well. Welcome everyone to Oak and Lamb. All of our usual viewers, we're so thankful you're here. All of our brand new viewers, let us know if you're new. Miss Becca will let me know and we will shout you out. We love new people. So if you found us and you're not really sure who we are or what we do, let me know. I would love to welcome you here to Oak and Lamb. But I hope you all are doing amazing. Look at you. Hello, everyone. How are they doing, Becca? They look good. They're good, yes. They, they look are. Good today. My they little... love the gnome. They're, they think it's adorable. Are they... <sighs> Kat says, OMG, I've seen gnomes everywhere. How awesome to learn to make one. Yes, gnomes are so hot right now. They and are. I'm going to be honest, I don't love gnomes. I know, it's just not my thing. But this is cute. It's cute. This is really cute. And this was um, unintentional, but you can trade out their hats. So I did not end up gluing the hat to the base because, first of all, it sticks really well. So I thought if you wanted to trade out the colors or anything like that, you can just pop the top with the little nose completely off and just trade his little hats if you wanted to do that. Um, so, yeah, very minimal supplies today. I will talk about it. Uh, we have, and I, I did not, I did away with the cap that's over there. This is Yarn B. So if you guys aren't familiar with a lot of yarn brands, this is one of the bigger brands that they sell at Hobby Lobby. So this is Yarn B. It's kind of a thicker, would you call this heather gray, Becca? Is yes. this what this is? Yeah, yeah it's I like would. a heather gray, really, really cute, thick yarn. We love it. Um, really cute. I think everything that Anna got at Hobby Lobby was 50% off, which again, those types of trips when everything's on sale, you just can't beat it. You cannot beat that. Right. So we have that. We have some Benzi felt. You guys know Benzi felt's our favorite. And Becca sacrificed her personal collection of Benzi felt for us today. I did. And I told her I, I only used scraps. I didn't even <laughs> cut a whole sheet of her Benzi felt. So we have some little scrap pieces today that I'm just kind of showing you all um how to make these little gnome hats this is going to come together super quickly and you can kind of make them whatever size you want we're not being extremely um particular on the size today because you can just kind of do this how however long you want you can make the actual gnomes way bigger you can make them smaller you can make them a little less full whatever you want to do so we just have some of that benzy felt here and some scissors we have these little bitty dowel caps these are quarter inch dowel caps we got these from hobby lobby as well um however i was telling anna i think i should have went with her suggestion which was half inch dowel caps for this size gnome his little nose could be a little bit bigger in my opinion these are adorable the way they are but they could be a little bit bigger so get whichever size you want we have our lemon lily hot glue gun here um and I'm gonna spill. I'm gonna spill the beans. We just got some in today that we're gonna be using for giveaways. Yes, we so are. So if you don't have a Lynn Lily, first of all, I'm sorry, you're missing out. They're amazing little glue guns. We fell in love years ago when they were sent to Makers and Learn, and we were opening them up, and we thought, I don't really know if we're gonna, you know, a glue gun's a glue gun. No, it's not. All glue guns are not made the same. We are it's absolutely true. addicted. And we can't have anything else. It's like, we just can't do it. We have to have our Lynn Lily glue guns. The precision tip and the cordless option, it's just, um, it's a match made in heaven here. It's amazing. So if you don't have one, we have, we got some in today that we're going to be using for some fun giveaways coming up. So definitely uh, stay tuned for that. And then we have something to wrap our string around. Now you can use your hand. You can use, they have pom-pom uh, like makers that are, it almost looks like an acrylic ruler, except it has different divots in it for the different sizes of pom-poms. I'm using a four by six frame that I found in my very messy craft cart next to my desk. And this is what we're wrapping our uh, yarn around for the um, tassel today. 
So really anything that you can find around your house that you like, like this, will work perfect. So let me see, what, what are they saying? They love the, the glue gun. Some of them say that it's their favorite. They already have one. Some say that it's on their wish list, so they're super excited. We have three Ooh, to give away. Yes. Lynn sent us three of them to give away. We're so excited. We are. They yeah, are. so those will be Black Friday that we're giving those away. Um, Which is this Friday. Right. As in like just a couple days. Before. Yeah. Here, 4 p.m. Eastern. Yes. If you don't have plans, we would, oh, was it up here, Becca? Yeah. Is it up here? Yeah, I let you know. I let you know. <laughs> if we, um, if you do not have any plans, come to our Black Friday event. It's going to be absolutely amazing and hilarious and educational. And we're going to have prizes. It's going to be so much fun. We're going to be here with you all for a couple hours on your Friday afternoon, your Black Friday afternoon. Yes. So we hope that you'll join us for that. Look at that little banner. It's so cute, Becca. So fun. So definitely be there or be square. Yes. We want to see you guys there. Crafting prizes, um, so much laughing. We're just going to be laughing our butts off the whole time probably. Um, and it'll hopefully be after you guys get to go on Black Friday shop if that's what you guys like to do. Let us know. Do you guys like to Black Friday shop? Do you have anything that you have your eye on this um, this go around? Let us know. Yeah. Um, side Clock note, Kat Friday. says that Scott dropped her glue gun on the cement floor last night and she got excited for a Lynn Lily, but alas, it still works. Kat, here's what I think needs to happen. Next time it gets dropped on the floor, you accidentally like step on it or something just to help expedite the death process. Then you can get that Lynn Lily. Yeah. Or yeah. ask oh, God to get you one no. for Christmas. You need more than one glue gun, right? Oh, everyone needs yeah. more than one glue gun. I'm gonna sneeze. Bless you. Bless you, my friend. Ooh, bless you. Yep. 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 That was the most professional sneeze I've ever had in my entire life. Wow. I'm so impressed. Usually <laughs> they are loud and many, many, many in a row. So I'm. They're bringing Ooh. up Fallon's video. We yes. We just talked OMG, about crafting Fallon's with a four-year-old is so adorable. Thank you, Erica. Uh, Melissa says Becca Fallon's video was awesome. And let me tell you, friends, I kept reading her. It, we were flooded with comments for Fallon, yes. which she just, I mean, every time I would read her, well, what, why are they saying that? <laughs> they like my video. I mean, she was just absolutely beaming when I was reading your all's comments are. So thank you for that. That was She's, very sweet. It was precious. I told Becca, I said, I'm kind of honored to get to say that Fallon Oaks had the very first organic video on the Oak and Lamb YouTube channel. That is true. And she's killing it. She's killing it. It's absolutely adorable. I think I'm going to keep sneezing, but I really hope not. So we're just going to. Is there something? Do you think you're allergic to the yarn or something? I don't know, but it's, I'm good. It's very I'm interesting. Yeah. We're going to, we're going to keep it together, guys. Don't worry. So this craft, again, is going to come together so quick. I guess we'll go ahead and dive into it, and after this, we can chat for a few minutes. I just know your time is super valuable, so I don't want to have you sitting here waiting for the craft to start. It's going to be a super easy one, so Becca, whenever you're ready, we'll switch to the overhead cam. We are ready. And I'm going to just kind of clear this out. Now, Becca, you'll have to tell me where the middle is. Is my gnome in the middle? Yeah, it's right in the middle. Perfect. Okay. So we have some of these little felt sheets here. And as you can see, they're not perfectly straight. So we're going to clean a couple of these up. I think we'll just do this one on the live today. So again, we have some scrap felt. You want it to be, I think this is nine inches wide. That's about the perfect length for the gnomes that we're going to be making today. So you can use some of these scraps. We're going to take this fella and just clean him up, make him a little bit straighter for us. Again, one thing I love about this is, number one, you don't need a Cricut. You don't need a laptop for design space. You don't need anything like that. You just need a couple of tools, and that's it. So, let's get all this. So, we have this, and we're going to be making our little hat. And here's one that, um, one that we're kind of modeling it after. And this one, as you can see, goes all the way down. And this one kind of loops up from each other. So, you can have it layered like this look or flat like this look. If you like this look better... Flatten it out, whack it off, and it'll all be the same length. But I kind of think it's cute layered up like this. So we're going to leave it like that. So the first thing you're going to do is make this into a half circle. So that's what we're going to do. Again, eyeballing it. It does not have to be perfect. So I'm going to take this and just start cutting. This is the easiest little gnome craft in the world. It's going to be so stinking cute, so easy to make, and just curve it down. You guys are probably going to be like, Rachel, them, them cutting skills, wow. And I know, and this is going to be fun because it doesn't have to be perfect. Now, 
and we're going to start our little cone. So we're going to take this top part, have it at you like a smiley face. We're going to take this and curve it down just like that. And go ahead and curl it around. Now again, this might take a couple of tries for you like this time. This is good. We want a little opening at the top for our um, yarn to come through, but it's a little bit of a big opening. So we're just going to make this a little tighter. Just a little bit tighter up there and then do it again. Do, 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 trial and error again. Like that. And that's pretty darn cute. Now again, it's a little imperfect. There's a little bitty, there's some little areas that we can whack off. And that is T totally fine. So go ahead and find your seam over here. And we're going to go ahead and glue our little seam. So I have my Lynn Lily here. And I'm just going to glue right here in this seam. Woo. Don't burn yourselves, guys. And once you have it glued, you can, of course, stick your hand up there and make sure it's glued and it's straight. And what we're going to do is trim this little edge off here. This is going to be inside our hat, too. So see, it just goes flush. Then we're going to trim this little edge off here, too. Just like so, super easy. Make sure it's just good and even. Look how cute. Okay, it's a little bit on the bottom here. We'll get this snipped off. Look how adorable this little hat is. I just can't get over it. These come together so quickly. So cute. Okay, once you have your little hat, get a little nitpicky with it. Um, if you wanna just fold the entire thing, cut it a little bit straighter, that's fine. Again, this is going to be wrapped around our little gnome, so it can be as messy or as not messy as you like. If you want the front to be flat and not have this um, seam, then make this the front. This is totally up to you, however you want to do it. So I'm going to flatten this out and give it a quick cut here, just like that. Make it all a bit more even. Perfect. Just get nitpicky with it. Look how cute this is. And we have different options if you guys wanted to take little ribbon and add a little ribbon to it if you wanted to take a uh, little bitty buttons and add some itty bitty buttons to it that's fine but as you can see we're just gonna be adding one of these little things here for his little nose and I just oh I could just die it's so cute Becca what are they saying in the comments am I missing anything not really uh Megan Megan's here she says better late than never 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 Hi, Megan. um she said she's not a gnome fan but this is abs this is adorable and i said i, I said the same thing i know um and then still commenting about fallon's video lots of comments about it it's so funny i did not intend to post that um no she didn't I, really i think he just did it for fun it didn't was you? totally for fun and then i mentioned it on friday's live and you were like no we want to see it so i edited it really quick friday yeah. night and posted it and you guys are going crazy over it it's absolutely hysterical i love it and it was so easy if i had known it was going to be so loved i actually would have thought about a project for her to make instead of just that but um lots of comments about how they loved how simple her project was and it reminded them of why they like crafting anyway that's precious yes because a lot a lot of times you know we seem to try to over complicate things um and it becomes stressful trying to figure it out and trying to complete it but sometimes you just need to go back to the basics and do something easy that you love and you need a quick easy win so i it, it worked I out well. I think that is like the perfect way to explain it is that sometimes crafts are overcomplicated because they are. Honestly, we have been taught uh, for years that we have to have so many cut files per project and so, you know, have so much design space time and so much selling time and this and that and projects. And sometimes you just want to get on here, make a five minute gnome and then leave. You know, I mean, you yeah. don't have to have a super complicated project every time. So things like this are really rewarding really relaxing there's like no stress involved like you don't have to you know go to the design space and make sure that everything's perfect you just get to sit here with some yarn and make some little tassels in a gnome or like Fallon you cut up uh, cut up some paper paint it add some glitter it's just amazing um just how relaxing it is when you just sit down and do a simple craft. So, uh, we're going to start wrapping this. This is also the perfect time to answer some questions if you guys have some yeah. while I'm making this tassel. So, definitely ask some questions. I would love to interact with you all. So, again, this is just what we're going to be wrapping our yarn around is this 4x6 frame here, which, of course, is chunkier than 4x6 because of the actual frame. Um, so I'm going to wrap this back. Were you going to say something? Well, I was just going to say, if you are not familiar with creating tassels, this is a perfect video for you. Um, yeah. because 
Right, so you can make tassels with so many different things. You can make them small with like embroidery thread. Yes, um, yes. With yarn. And I mentioned to them they actually have like tassel yeah. boards that look like an acrylic ruler that yeah. have little divots in them. Um, but, but I yeah. love what she's about to show you. You can make a tassel with anything. anything. You don't have to have those special things. Anything. Yeah. No, you, your hand is a really good thing. You know, take it, wrap it around your hand. I wanted mine a little bit longer. So, just, honestly, I was just looking around, finding something in the studio I could wrap around this. Becca, remind me to show them that Dollar Tree Christmas tree. Because <laughs> I keep looking over at it. <laughs> just laughing. Yeah. Honestly, yeah. it's just hysterical. So, remind me to show them that if we have time. Okay. So, I'm going to wrap this 30 times. I was trying to be super mindful when I was making this to, to know how many times I wrapped it. So this guy is wrapped around 30 times plus the little, the long little edge here that we can tie into a loop or you can make this out of a different material like jute twine or something like that. But the actual body, the thickness of him is 30 of these wraps. So I'm going to take this and hold it. Pull it down. One, two, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. And then you don't have to make them like super tight up at the top, like super clustered together. It's totally fine if they fan out. Six, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one, twenty two, twenty three, twenty four, twenty five, twenty six, twenty seven, twenty eight, twenty nine, and thirty. So at this point, this is all the way down at the bottom. So we're just gonna cut that off. Just like that, cut it off like that. And now we're gonna pull this completely off of our frame here. So we're just gonna pull it off. Make sure you're holding on to the top or the bottom. Just make sure you're holding on to one edge really well here. Pull this off here. It's getting hung on something. Amanda has a great question. She said, one question for Cricut projects in the future, how are we going to get the cut files you'll be using since the subscription isn't up yet? So Amanda, that's a great question. Somehow I've, um, Moved it over to you and didn't even know that. Oh, well. um, <laughs> yeah, well, back <laughs> over. Okay. That's very interesting. Um, anyway, um, we, a couple of ways. One is that w if you purchase our course that we are launching on Friday, it will give you six months of access to our flock, our ONL flock, which is our private Facebook group. And in that group, I will be sharing cut files that we use periodically. Um, also the cut files and things that we are, are using in projects will automatically be added to our library so that when the subscription is live, you will be able to have access to all of those later on. Occasionally we may drop a, Hey, click the link below for a free cut file, uh, for a couple of reasons. One that gives you the free file. Um, and two, it helps us build our um, mailing list for future events, future promotions and things like that. So um, there will be cut files available to you all in different ways. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And eventually, of course, <clears throat> when the membership does launch, we'll have like all of these cut files to everything we've made in that library. Mm -hmm. You know, so Becca, Becca's saving all of the cut files that you see. It's not like you see them and then you're not going to see them again. Yeah. If you want to make one project that we made in the very first video, that will be on there eventually. Yes. Um, okay. So anything well, else? Becca? Yeah. One more question. Yeah. How long after Black Friday do we have to join the course? So we'll, the, the course will be purchasable indefinitely. However, um, you, I, I'm, we haven't really worked out the details. I would say... I would say at least through Christmas, we will have it open so that you guys can join the, um, the, the flock free. Like yeah. that's the promotion that we're doing. And I would, I would think, although I hope I'm not overstepping, I would think we would offer that through Christmas. Yeah. 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 Anyway, go we ahead. want people to have time, you yeah. know, yes. have time to buy. A lot of people are waiting to get paid for things. Some people might, might splurge a little on Black Friday shopping and, you know, need a little time. We totally understand. Yeah, absolutely. Um, okay, so we have just pulled this off of our little um, picture frame, and I've cut a piece of this string here. Again, I'm eyeballing this. I'm sorry if you absolutely adore measurements, but I'm just eyeballing it. This just needs to be long enough to wrap around here, tie good, and then to have one piece coming out as your um, loop to be able to hang it on your tree or guys you could make a gnome banner a banner of gnomes whatever you want to do with this so you can see right here's our little tail this is our bottom so we're going to take this and put it all the way through and this is what I'm doing like this is so easy look I'm just I'm just going to tie this together 
one knot, tie tight. The other knot, just tie that tight. And then this is like the whole body of our gnome is this lump of string right here. So I'm gonna pull this tight and then cut one of these off. So you don't need one of these, you're just gonna cut it off at the base or let it hang and trim it later as another part of the gnome uh, beard. That's totally fine too. But we're gonna go in here and make sure we have all of these loops separated how we want them. And when we have them all separated, we can pull it down at the bottom and we're gonna take our scissors here and pull down like this, pulling down, cutting. These scissors cut like butter as well. Thank you, Becca, for that. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, so here's our little gnome beard, our little base. Isn't he cute? So you can hold him up and then look at him overhead. Sorry, guys, I'm doing this. You can't really see it, but I'm holding him like this flat and making sure I have everything trimmed I found a couple loops that I didn't cut, so just make sure you have all that cut. And this is our little gnome body base. I mean, so, e honestly, so easy. It took, it's, it's taken me two minutes to do this entire process. Uh, I think the longest thing was honestly folding over this little hat and trimming it up. <laughs> it's just crazy. So, all we have to do now is slip our um, long piece into our little hat here. I'm not even gonna do that thing with the tassel that you like tie it right here. There's just no need to do no, that. No, you don't need part. that, absolutely. No, you don't need to. So I'm gonna grab some reverse tweezers really quick. I didn't show this in the supply list because I didn't use it on this one. What I did with this one is hilarious. I stuck this down here and then blew, like blew with my breath, and it kind of forced it through the hole. And look, I didn't even need those either. You're just gonna push the hat through Find which side you like, because you know, sometimes things have sides that you like a little better, and just pull your hat down a little bit. Pull it down. Wow, just look at this. How stinking cute is this? So, gnome base done. If you want to glue this down, you totally can, but it is not a necessity to glue it down. If you like this part being like the front part of your hat, just make sure you like all of that right now before you hot glue your little nose on. And if you do like it, take your hot glue. I add it all inside here and on our little nose. Don't overdo on the hot glue because you don't want it to spill out the sides or anything. And then add it right down on your hat. Ha about like half off, half on your hat to make it look like that nose is just kind of poking up. And look, guys, I'm done. I'm done. That was... I'm so, I'm, I don't know if I'm ashamed or proud of how long that took me to do. And I have to be honest, it was only my second one to make. I made one of these before the live and one on the live. And it's so easy. Now, next time, if I knew how quick this would be, maybe I would make two different ornaments for you guys. But sorry, not sorry. I think it's absolutely adorable. So tell me how you would want to put these in your home. Would you want to make like a a banner with these? Would you want to put them on a wreath? Would you want to hang these on your tree? Would you want to hang these on every doorknob in your house? There's a lot of different things you could do with these adorable little gnomes. Um, again, make the beard super long, make the beard super short. Um, you can make these giant and, you know, just adjust your sizes. I eyeballed all of this. Did not measure a single thing. And they look adorable. And they look adorable. If you don't like it, cut it. This, this is one of those non-pressure crafts that we were talking about. No pressure here. Use some scrap. You, honestly, and I would say this is one of the few, Becca, let me tell you, you know, see if you agree. I think this is the one of the few crafts you don't have to use Benzie felt if you don't want to because you're not cutting it with your Cricut. Well, you're not really touching it and things like that. Like so, once it's on your tree, you're not really going to touch it. Yeah. yeah. So it, unless you're partial to Benzie's colors, which aren't we all, they're gorgeous then I would say it's totally fine to use like the cheaper 33 cent sheets from Hobby Lobby or something like that. Um, so all in all, you really would not have a lot of money invested in these at all. And it doesn't get any cuter than these little bitty gnomes. Use whatever color felt you want if you have like a color scheme you like. Again, if you're making a banner with these, you could do um, the, all the colors in the rainbow all in a line. Like just get creative with these little fellas. Oh, that would be adorable, Rachel. So cute. Thanks. Becca. Uh -huh. I was channeling my inner you thinking about that. Oh, good. My inner, my inner Becca. Oh, so my cute. goodness. So let me know what's going on, guys. That was like a five-minute craft. It was so, so simple. It's fine. It's so, adorable. So I like it. 
Yeah, next time, like I said, next time, maybe two different crafts in one video. Um, but as far as easy goes, I think some of us need easy wins. So if you're in for an easy win today, make this little bitty known because he's in a video. ACM062887 says, who happens to be Anna, you can decorate the hats to make them different too. Yes. Yeah. So uh, we were talking about that a little bit. You can add some ribbon or some little buttons or uh, glitter or whatever you want. I mean, go to the craft store. Here's what I love in the craft store too. The little scrapbooking aisle has a lot of little doodads and stick-ons that you can add. Little flowers and bumblebees and rainbows and stuff like that that you could decorate their little hats with. So I think my biggest piece of advice would be go down that aisle and look around. They're mm -hmm. also really small too to fit on these hats well. Just go get inspired, whatever you know style you want. Or you could I do, know. I mean, you could even do heat transfer vinyl on the the, the, felt. the felt if you yes. wanted to. Like a fair aisle print would be cute to transfer oh, over. That would be yeah. really cute. Um, and if you did a light felt, mm -hmm. correct me if I'm wrong, you can sublimate on some felts. Really? I'm pretty sure, yes. And so you could sublimate That's on amazing. the hats as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Gracie, who will be crafting on Friday? All of us. All of us. We will all be here. Do you want to show them the one thing? One thing. Sure. The pro. The. I'll get it. Yeah. So, so right. this isn't. We're not doing this on Friday. This is part of the cra the course that we're launching on Friday. Yeah. So we're gonna teach you how to make this. Look at this. In the course. Um, so there's a lot going on here. In this one video, we do sublimation. So we sublimated the fabric to make the pocket. We sew the, the pocket onto the apron, and then we do print and cut, um, heat transfer vinyl, and add it to the apron. Put it on the overhead camera, and okay. we'll, yeah. yeah. I was gonna put it on, but I didn't want it to hit my No, mic. put it on then, that's fine. I didn't want it to hit Whatever my Whatever you mic. wanna do. Okay, which camera's we Let, Well, do the one overhead first, so okay. they can see close up, like really what it looks like. Um, so this is one of the one of the videos, one of the um, pieces of the course that's launching on Friday, like I said, so. Um, Lots of stuff in that one video. A ton. Lots of Guys, stuff. Guys, you're mastering sewing, sublimation. I mean, print and cut, all kinds of yes. stuff. Yes. Yeah. So stinking cute. I'm pretty obsessed with it. Yes. It turned out cute. It's anyway, you can put it back on if you want. Okay. Um, but Friday's videos, um, or crafts, I'm trying to remember um, what your craft is. I can't remember. I don't have one anymore, remember? Oh, I, did we take it from you? You took it from me. I know. Anna's doing a really okay. cute video. Yeah. Teaching. I think that we sacrificed mine, which was, honestly, guys, it was, it was a little boring. The one I was going to do, do you remember? No. It was a gift card holder. Now, I'm sure Becca would not have made it a boring cup pile or anything, but from just sound, the sound of things, I was like, that's fine. I'm, ha I'm happy to do whatever. But Anna's gonna be sharing an incredible craft. There's gonna be um, like a entertainment segment, which mm -hmm. we've talked about. Anna has, or Becca has mentioned, maybe losing fingers and things like that. So oh, nothing it's not like my that. plan, but it's in the back yeah, of my head. Yeah, it's yeah. not the plan, no. Um, um, yeah, and then I am going to be teaching a video on how to design your own Christmas cards, like that you would send off for printing. So that's gonna be fun. Um, Anna's doing a video on amazing ways to spruce up your Christmas packages. Yeah, she's got some really cute ideas. Um, I thought we were doing one craft though. I have I have an updated Asana because that's what I just looked at. It's on my okay, uh, perfect. But yes, planner. Uh, it's it's going to be a super We've been lots a of giveaways. Yes, we have, Sorry. and we've changed things. Uh, but anyway, we have giveaways. We're giving away um, we two do have craft. two of our fun Cricut caddies um that you see to Rachel's left we're gonna not those colors but we have two that we're giving away we're giving away Lynn Lily glue guns um we're giving away some merch we're giving away a big prize which we'll announce later um lots of fun stuff that's going to be happening on Friday so you just have to be there yeah you stay have to tuned be there. for an itinerary yeah. and then also go over to the uh scheduled YouTube video because it's been there for it's been there since I think this past Friday Thursday or Friday 
Um, so go over there and you can check out the description. We'll be updating that with, you know, a couple of supplies and things like that that you might need. Um, a couple of questions. Do yeah. we get the oak and lamb PNG so that we can create a apron exactly like this? So yes, you do. Um, all of the, all of the videos that we are putting in this course, the cut files and things that we use in the video will be included with the course for you all. That's so, only fair. Yeah. So you will get, get you yeah. will get the checkered um, pattern, and you will get the PNG of our logo. Which is absolutely, just so stinky. yeah. I'm trying. I'm racking my brain on what we're doing that day. Now, again, we have changed our minds a couple times too because we want it to be incredible yes. for you all. So we've changed our minds a bit. Yes, Helena. Canadians can also win prizes. We do have to. I did not know this. Um, Sin actually that we worked with at Makers Gonna Learn is from Canada and let us know that if we open it up to Canadians and we have to ask a like skill question, like if you win, for instance, we have to ask the skill question, um, like some math related or something like that. Where if you and you have to answer correct in order. I've never heard this before, but yes, Canadians are eligible. Yes, yes. Um, Melissa, where do you buy the Benzie felt? BenzieDesigns.com. Benzie it's yes. amazing. They have little felt balls for the holidays. They have different types of felt things. They have like little candy canes and oh my, just the cutest stuff ever. You need to check it out. Now, you'll drop some dough on it, but it is worth it. It is worth it. Because you guys know, we... Um, we would not purchase something that's way overpriced unless it was worth it. And Benzie Felt is 100% worth it. Totally. Becca, I think it came to me. I think we're doing some sublimation. I think we're doing some sublimation stuff. Does that sound about right? Yeah. I think that's what we're doing. Anyways. Anyways. We're going to be having a lot of fun stuff on Black Friday. Um, it's coming up quick. Um, I'm so excited for Thanksgiving. Becca. Had a Friendsgiving this, this past weekend. This weekend, I did. And I texted her last night and said, how was Friendsgiving? She didn't tell me how it was, guys. She sent me a photo of her dinner plate. My mouth was watering. <laughs> it let, Hang on, I'm going to pull it up and then tell you all what was on it. Becca probably knows by memory right now. I do. Because we, we planned, it was me and my husband and my family, and then uh, Anna and her husband, Mark, and then our friends that we camp with, oh, Zach, and, Zach and Amber and their two girls. And so we all are huge foodies and have similar tastes in foods. And we made this list like six months ago of everything we wanted to include and assigned it to each other, like based yeah. off of who makes really good stuff. It is the, oh, the my perfect gosh. Thanksgiving plate. Let me go through here. We've got some baked mac and cheese. We've got some corn. We have uh, deviled eggs, turkey, some broccoli casserole. What is this in the middle? Sweet potato casserole? Yeah. Oh, sweet potato casserole. We have, is that potato casserole? Which one? No, that's pineapple casserole. Even better. Yeah. Even be and then. Fried corn. Did you say fried, fried corn? Fried corn. Yeah. Yes, fried corn. It, it just looks amazing. And then let's Cranberry throw, sauce. Cranberry sauce from the can, like, yeah. like I said. Mm -hmm. And then an extra little touch that I totally would have done too is like a little sliced pickle on the corner here. Homemade which, pickles, yes. Homemade pickle, yes. which it's honestly, my mouth was, I was dying. Oh, it was I was so a little good. hungry too when and she I, sent it. I'm, I'm a little like, bit mad because I'm like, like rushing out the door this morning. I had to go to Walmart um, to get some supplies before I took the kids <laughs> to school. So I got none of my leftovers for lunch today. Which I'm glad about because I would have been jealous and mad. Yeah. Like, guys, it looks so good. So now I'm really excited for Thanksgiving. Stacey wants to know if she can purchase our course early. Unfortunately, we are at the mercy of our web dev team who is putting together a landing page. Um, our website isn't, when I've talked a little bit about this, our website isn't going to be 100% complete that day, but they are going to be creating a landing page with a purchasable link for the course. And I'm not entirely sure how early it will be available, but um, if it's available early, I don't, we may, we may consider. We'll yeah. let you know for yeah. sure. Yeah. Um, Who has this meal? Me. It was at my house. Yes. And she was starving me to death, sent me that picture. She, mm. Well, we're all foodies. Like, we are all. And me and Becca have eerily similar palates uh -huh. for food. Like, eerily similar. If we go out to a restaurant and Becca says she like it, likes it, I will like it. I don't think there's been a time. Except you... for the pumpkin Kit Kats that you hated. I'm speechless. I still stand by those pumpkin Kit Kats. Guys, you were eating a candle 100% plus. If we're talking about like um, 
grade A chocolates, a Kit, Kit Kat chocolate, and like Hershey chocolate. You know, it's just not the... I'm starving right it's now. Not, I'm starving too. It's not top tier chocolate. So when you eat it, it like coats your mouth in a little bit of a waxy film, which did not help the case on that Kit Kat being um, just... If you just closed your eyes, I would have thought she just whacked off a piece of a candle and threw it in my mouth. That is the only thing that she likes. And I don't, we both hate cilantro, which is just the only thing that popped in my head for some reason. Because that's kind of controversial. Some people think cilantro is great. I think it tastes like Dawn dish soap. Um, <laughs> but we love, we love the same things. Now, Becca, pineapple casserole... Becca introduced me to this. Yeah, oh, it's the best. I'm going to say two things, and you guys tell me if it sounds horribly gross or really good. Pineapple and cheddar cheese. I Sounds have, disgusting. I have the frame of mind that I will try anything once. Anything. I don't care how gross it is. As long as it's like a, a normal thing. Like not mushing two things together that's gross. But I will try anything once. And Becca made it. It's so, we ate the whole thing. It's one of my favorite we dishes. We ate the whole thing. So it's pineapple and cheddar cheese and sugar. It's sweet and sugar and a little tiny bit of flour. And then the top is um, Ritz crackers and butter and you just mash it. Oh my gosh. It's amazing. Okay. We'll, sh we'll share it in the private Facebook group eventually. I'm so hungry right now. I guess I'll have to get in next week. Um, I'm an hour away from lunch. You're killing me. <laughs> Listen, I'm sorry. I'm hungry too. I, I'm, I keep looking over at this mini fridge like, what am I going to eat? <laughs> but I'm um, Also fried corn. I don't know if that's just a Southern thing or not, but it's like a twice cut corn. So you, when you cut the corn the first time, you cut off just, the cob. yeah, off the cob, you cut just the tip off and then you turn your knife sideways and scrape the corn. And when you do that, it kind of creates the milk from the corn. It like a releases it. And then you just put a stick of butter in your frying pan, um, throw, I did like one stick of butter for like 12 ears of corn, um, like one to two tablespoons of sugar, salt and pepper, and then you fry it for like 15 minutes. It's Heaven. Also, here's the issue with talking about food like this and being hungry. There is nowhere you can drive and pull up and get food like this. It no. is just good no. homemade yeah. cooking. Good southern food. Oh, good southern food. So I'm, I'm living for Thanksgiving. My family goes all out. Like homemade, down to homemade rolls and everything, my family goes nuts. And Sounds uh, gross, but I like pineapple on pizza. If you all like pineapple, I've never, ever, ever given a pineapple casserole to someone who, who likes pineapple. Who did not like, didn't it. like it? I've yeah. never given it to someone, but they're all—they all, they so all have the same reaction. They're like, "Oh, that." Ew. Then they try it. And like, it oh. is literally one of my favorite things. It's so good. It so that whole plate, I was just my mouth was watering, and it was—it was delicious. All that to be, all that being said, you know, I hope that you all have a fantastic Thanksgiving. Now we're going to be here several more times before Thanksgiving. Yeah. Oh, for sure. So a couple questions about the course. What is the price of the course? The launch price is $49, and as a Black Friday special, we are giving you access, six months of access to the Oak and Lamb flock for free. For free. Yes. Generally, the purchase of a course will not get you admittance to the Oak and Lamb flock, um, but that is what we're offering you all because we're really excited to build our community. We know that you all will be great support for each other, um, and we see the value and the importance of it. So yeah. that's, and yeah. this is kind of going along the, um, the subject of, we wanted to create a, an exclusive community, but we didn't want it to be open to the public because we feel like if someone pays something to get in there, even a very low, 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 low price, it still adds a bit of a respect factor there that just kind of makes the whole place feel more like a family. You can go on Facebook if you're part of any public um, pages, craft related or not. There's just, I don't know, it just doesn't have the same feel to it. And we were, we were racking our brains on how we could give you guys access to that, but have it add value to you. So when we're coming up with the course, we were like, let's just add them together. They can spend money on the course and then get this for free for Black Friday. Win-win. They're paying for it, and it'll be amazing. So that's kind of the headspace we were at as well. Um, Rach, it yeah. keeps moving. This is very interesting. It keeps changing the camera angle. Oh, I see. It's on my hands. Yeah, it just is automatically doing that. So that's something we need to look into after this. I'm very sorry, friends. Do you notice it up there, too, mm -hmm. or do you notice it? Yeah, it's just randomly changing it up here. Very sorry, friends. At least we got a five minute craft. And we're just chatting. That's so. true. <laughs> um, uh, oh, what is, do you remember the name brand of the water slide paper that you like? You want me to look it up? Uh, uh, see, 
Whenever you do a comparison video on something. Is it clear? It's inkjet clear. It's clear. If you scouted a couple out, I think I would be able to pick it out. How about I just show you these? Yeah. And I you did tell a, me. I did a comparison on them, which makes things way, way harder. Is it any of these? Rachel always does the water slides, and I can never, like, I can't ever remember which one it is. That one. Sunny, oh, Sunny right. Scopa. Yeah. Sunny Scopa. I'll drop you the link, my friend. I would not have remembered that for a million dollars, but Sunny Scopa. That's it. Are you going to drop my link? Sure. Sure. Our affiliate links are currently not working right now. We'll just be <laughs> honest and let you know what's going on. Um, it's very frustrating. We got an email saying that... Um, Oh, I can't drop the link because it won't let me do a condensed one. Just look up Sunny Scopa. I'm sorry. Um, we got an email saying basically our website wasn't up and they didn't understand where all of our foot traffic was coming from and our affiliate of, link. Instead of checking our social medias to know that all of our affiliate track affiliate was coming from YouTube, yeah. they just were like, this is sketchy. No. Just denied. Yes. So our now we're having affiliate. to appeal so that we can get them back. It's a whole thing. Um, yes. You cannot win if you are not present on Friday. That's a great question. You do have to be present for the live because um, you have to be commenting and active on the stream for us to even know that you're there. Yeah. Um, and that's how you'll win. We'll announce live. It will be random. And uh, you'll have 48 hours to claim your prize via email. If you do not claim, then we'll give it to another yeah. person. Uh, what is in the course? Well, we have most of the course projects that I'm looking at right now. So, I mean, I could show you a couple um, if you wanted. But we have some woodworking, which is amazing, some paper crafting. I would call it like paper crafting on steroids. It's a long project that was a labor of love, but really, really worth it. It is so stinking cute. Um, and then sublimation. We have some sublimation, some print and cut, some sewing, all in one, which is what we just showed you. And then Becca is also doing one with like resin and alcohol inks with a pen, which if you guys haven't done like a glitter epoxy pen or a glitter resin pen or anything like that, it can be complicated. So she's going to be sharing with you a lot of tips and tricks on how to do that professionally and make it look amazing. So we've got a lot in the course, a lot shoved yes. into this mini yeah. course. It's only four, I say only, but it's four projects and they're amazing. You guys know uh, from the courses we've done in the past, um, it's polished, really nice videos, and it's not like full of chatter or anything like that. It's just the good meat of the uh, project. And right. that is for you guys forever. If you purchase it on Black Friday along with that six months of the ONL flock access, you will get that course forever. You paid for it, it's yours forever. You can and all the it. cut files used in the in the projects. And mm -hmm. all the cut files used in the projects. So you guys have lifetime access to all of that. Which is amazing. Uh, what is the brand of the glue gun, Christy? Oh, this is Lynn Lilly. Mm -hmm. This it's is by Sure Bonder. Yeah. It's by Sure Bonder. Uh, they do make one, I think it's like black and lime green. Yeah. She's not, not as cute. Not very cute. Same same design, same top. I only say that because most of the time these are sold out because they're so incredible. Which, I mean, look at it. It's absolutely adorable. So if you can find this, it's actually an amazing glue gun. Uh, we also love to get the 10-inch glue gun sticks. It really helps. This is a, technically a mini glue gun. It is high temp, though. It is a really nice glue gun. The precision tip is amazing. It is cordless, and then you can always unplug it from the base and cord, uh, plug it in to be corded. So it's really versatile, really awesome. It's super small and lightweight, easy to use. We really can't rave about it enough. We really can't. Lynn herself, Lynn Lily herself, sent us a couple of these to give as giveaways, which is amazing. We reached out and we're like, hey, we want to give some of these amazing glue guns away. Will you help us out? So she no, was, I actually didn't. I didn't even ask that. You didn't? She I volunteered. She no, well, I messaged her asking if she could hook me up with the person that I need to talk to in order to get um, a part of the affiliate program yeah. oh, so yeah, that yeah, we yeah. could give them an affiliate link. And she basically was super, super supportive of that She's and so was just congratulating us on our new adventure and I said, volunteered just to send some glue guns that is precious. for us to give away for you all. She I'm is so that sorry. Sweet. I was taking like, the credit away from Lynn. She, she is offered. so sweet. That is and so just precious. Yeah, That's absolutely. So but um, if we don't have any other comments or anything, we're going to go ahead and get out yeah. of here a little early for you guys. We've got some filming to do we and do. some stuff to do. We're getting our commercial space, all the windows tinted tomorrow. And I have just been so excited about it. 
not that it's super bothersome. It's you know. Well, in the, the afternoon, sun, it's super bright. The sun is a little bothersome. If we're here um, doing a live later in the day, you can't even really see the tech station screen, and it's hard to see. And then just for privacy reasons, because we do have all of this equipment in here. When it's dark and the lights are on in here, it's like we're like in a fishbowl in here. So it's just going to be good for a lot of different reasons to have that. So we're getting that done, just kind of putting the finishing touches on this place. So we're really excited. And we'd like to keep you guys in the loop, of course. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this. I hope you all have a great day. Um, Rachel, how are you feeling? I'm feeling great. Um, it's actually amazing. The baby, I feel him kicking a lot now. So that's amazing to feel. And it's, it's kind of crazy, too. I don't know. Uh, everybody's like, wait till you feel your baby. It's like the best feeling in the world. No one tells you it's the weirdest, most alien-like feeling. <laughs> and then I feel it, and I'm like, oh, what is that? Oh, it's my baby. Oops, I forgot. Um, but it, it is also magical and fun. So um, One quick question that I do want to answer because we've had a couple of comments. Will this be available for immediate rewatch? So we have been having some issues with our lives. Traditionally, it should be available within like 15 minutes. It like for rewatch. renders and processes, and then boom, goes back for on the channel. For some reason, guys. ours are taking like 12 hours sometimes to rewatch. And then sometimes, like, the live uh, chat is not available for a while. We're trying to figure out, we're actively looking for the solution for this. We don't know why it randomly and does it. This is just a hunch. I have not dug into like the logistics of YouTube yet, but, and I know it seems kind of dumb. Sometimes I feel like unmonetized channels aren't ran as efficiently as the ones right. that have monetization. Which, cause So that's kind of basically telling YouTube they're the real deal. I feel like sometimes channels before they hit the monetization, which we're close to, by the we're way. We're close. You all are amazing. Yeah. Yes. You, it's all because of you guys, so thank you. But I feel like before then, they're just like, meh. I don't know if that's even a thing. or if that's I don't know. Yeah, I have no is. idea. But I have never experienced it on... Um, other YouTube channels. So I feel like that might be the reason. I don't know that for sure though. Yes, for those of you who did not know, she announced Friday she is having a boy. She's a boy. A yes. Boy. Yes, I'm having a sleep little boy. baby boy. A little baby boy. Yes, so yes. excited. Shirley says I cannot watch your videos afterward. Yeah, Shirley, so give it like 12 hours for whatever reason right now. You We're can go sorry. back and rewatch all of them now, but it takes for a while it's so annoying i'm so sorry well I, i'm curious to see when we when we do get monetized if that if that stops it, yeah, or not because yeah. we honestly can't find any other source to it this one day we were like editing a video while this was trying to render and i thought maybe that was it but other than that it should be running completely smoothly so i don't really know but we, we'll see we're sorry about that for sure um, but again, guys, make some of these cute little gnomes. They're absolutely adorable. Um, I hope you guys have a great day. We're going to come and see you again tomorrow and have another fun craft. Um, that one is going to be kind of like this one. It's going to be a Christmas gift idea under $20. And most of the stuff is from the Dollar Tree, which how fun is that? And you guys know we're not going to give you any like kind of Meh, you know, cheapy crafts. It's going to be a really cute little gift set for somebody that is not going to break the bank. So that's going to be amazing. But hope you guys have an amazing day. Don't forget to be here for Black Friday and we'll see you tomorrow. I hope you guys have a great afternoon.